So try this problem first, and then I'll explain it. Okay, so we first have to determine what CH3SNA is, right? So the Na part is just the metal and it's positive, and then we have the negative part for CH3S. Now the thing about CH3S, right, it's a strong nucleophile, and strong nucleophiles will be SN2, and SN2 prefers primary and secondary carbons. It will almost never do a tertiary attack. And then it can also be a weak base, right? Because um, it's a strong nucleophile, but a weak base. And weak base would be E1. But in this case, since it's a secondary, it can still do SN2, right? So it will attack, it'll do a backside attack, and then it'll attack. And that's why the wedge, right? The wedge becomes a dash. So it will attack from behind and then become a dash, and then you have S, right, and then CH3. So I hope that helped, and thanks for watching.